Hello, I'm Hassan Tartelgira from Hackerman Company Export Department and we will be giving information about Aqua Premium and information about how to install it in this video. On Aqua Premium we have one warning light, one reset button and one emergency stop. On the left side on the panel we have a touch screen Below that, we have electrical components. On the left side, we have acid and basic pumps. We have a reactor tank. And behind the reactor tank, we have pumps and pipes. This is our testing buffer tank. We use this in order to test the device before shipping. It has a pressure sensor below, which is shown. And this is just a test unit. Electrical components of the Aqua Premium. First, you open the two lids, one located on the upper part and one in the front of Aqua Premium. First part is main switch located on the upper part of the control panel. They have labels in English in order to indicate where the switch plug. You turn them on by switching them into the upward position. Next, pH transmitter. It is located on the right middle side of the electrical board. Next is UV lamp control box. It has a switch to turn it on. Last part is ozone generator. It also has a switch to turn it on. This is Aqua Premium reactor tank. It is made of AISI 304 quality stainless steel. Above it there is a filter and below it there is a pressure sensor. Aqua Premium Piping There are three pipes on the Aqua Premium. One is inlet pipe, one is discharge pipe and last one is output pipe. There are two electrical valves on the Aqua Premium. They have a red line on them. If the line is parallel with the pipe it's on, it means it enables the flow of the liquid. If it is not parallel, it means that it blocks. There are many manual valves on the Aqua Premium. You pull their knob and twist the rod in order to open and close the valve. Same principle applies with the electrical valves. If the rod is parallel with the pipe it's on, that means it enables the flow of the liquid. There are two sampling uh, valves on the Aqua Premium. They enable sampling the, liqu the incoming liquid and outgoing product from Aqua Premium. Lastly, there is a pH probe on this part. It measures the pH level and transmits the value to the pH transmitter shown on the previous section. Pumps of the Aqua Premium. First, the vacuum pump. It takes the effluent water from the buffer tank and sends it to the reactor tank. Second, circulation pump. It takes the effluent water from the reactor tank, it injects acid and basic solutions into it and also ozone and sends it back to the reactor tank thus creating a circulation and mixes the fluid. Our last pump is drain pump. It takes the water from the reactor tank and it discharges it via the output pipe. On the way, 
A fumed water passes through UV light, allowing it to be disinfected for a second time. Also, it breaks down the excess ozone in the effluent water. There are two dosage pumps on the aqua premium, one for acid and one for basic. Above them, there are labels to indicate which is which. There are two probes for acidic and basic solutions in the Aqua Premium. Also, Aqua Premium has a container stand. The probes are connected to the dosage pumps and marked as basic and acidic. In order to use the probes, you dip them into the relevant container. These are pressure indicators located on the back side of the Aqua Premium. They are connected to the pumps and show the pressure of them. First one is connected to the vacuum pump, second one is connected to the circulation pump, and the third one is connected to the drain pump. Installation of the Aqua Premium. You start by connecting the inlet pipe into the buffer tank. Here it is demonstrated by the black holes. Second, you connect the pressure sensor into the buffer tank. Then you connect the plug that is coming out of the aqua premium into the pressure sensor. For the final part, you screw it. Aqua premium to the buffer tank, you have to connect output pipe to a place of your choosing. It can be city drain or a tank, anywhere you want. After this part, you have to make sure that valves are in correct positions. Except for the valves shown at the moment, all the valves must be in open position. On this section, I will show you how to manually operate the machine and check the parts. First, you press on the English flag, then Hackerman logo, then manual. Password is 8 times 5. This is an interactive schematic of the system. Here, you can operate the parts manually. If you press on the inlet valve, inlet valve opens physically on the system. Suction pump. Drainage pump. Acid and basic pumps. Circulating pump. Output valves. And finally ozone generator. After manually checking the system component, components, we are ready to start the system automatically. In order to do that, we press on the English flag, Ackerman logo, work, and press on the system start. From now on, it will work automatically.